Hey guys, Derek from DNK Reptiles. I uh, wanted to bring you another video tonight. Um, if you have logged onto our channel recently, um, like within the last hour or so, um, you'll probably notice that we no longer have our feeding videos posted up there. Um, and I'm going to explain that why here in just a second. I'm also going to give a little update on the happenings down in Florida. If you don't know about that or aren't following that, um, I'm going to give a little update on that. Um, but before we do that, um, thank you for watching the video. Um, and uh, I hope you like all the videos that we do put out. Um, again, I'm Derek from DNK Reptiles. We are a new and up and coming breeder. Um, we are trying to grow our channel, put our name out there. Um, we need a thousand subscribers to become monetized, guys. We're sitting right now with 15 subscribers. So if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, pound that notification bell at the top so you don't miss another one of our videos and share it. Um, share the video with um, anyone you like because um, we need um, a thousand subscribers to become monetized. We also need a thousand watch hours, guys. So make sure that you guys are watching the videos through. Um, that helps us out greatly. Um, so anyway, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, I'm going to explain why we have why we took our feeding video our live feeding videos down, um, and I'm also going to give an update um, what of what's going on down in Florida um, because I did a video a couple days ago um, about this. Um, so let's start out with the live feeding videos. Um, so if you logged onto our channel tonight, um, or if you're logging in. Later, you might notice that uh, there is no more live feeding video, guys. Feeding videos, I took those down, guys. Um, and the reason I took those down is because of all the current happenings down in Florida um, with uh, the, f the fish and wildlife conservation um, and all the new laws that uh, are trying to be passed. Um, I don't think that those videos help U.S. ARC in fighting these battles, and I don't think that we should be posting those right now. Um, so I'm not going to be doing any more live feeding videos, guys. I will continue to do um, the feeding update videos um, every Monday, and I will try to come up with some new content um, so that we keep our two um, videos a week. But if not, we will definitely do um, the feeding update videos as well as any un um, and un any. Uh, new animals we will do an unboxing video on those um, but if you guys have anything that you want to see or that we aren't sharing with you that you would like us to share um, go ahead and leave those uh, ideas down in the comment box um, or you can email us at bkreptiles2022 at gmail.com that would be fantastic um, again please like and subscribe share if you have anyone that wants that is a fan of reptiles um, so I talked about the live feeding videos. We're not going to do those anymore. I will continue to do the feeding update videos on Monday, and we will do unboxing videos as we get new animals here at DNK Reptiles. Um, so we're moving on. All right, guys. If you haven't heard, or if you didn't watch our last video, um, maybe you're new to YouTube and you're just watch, flipping through videos. Um, last Thursday, I believe it was, um, down in Florida, there was a reptile keeper. Um, by the name of Chris, I'm not sure of his last name. Um, I'm not going to give that information because I don't feel that that is my place to do so, but I will give first name. Um, and I believe that's what his first name is. Um, FWC, which is the Florida Wildlife Conservation, um, down there in Florida, came to this guy's Chris's uh, facility where he housed his reptiles. Um, he had 36 uh, retics and a couple um, pyth other python species that were not legal as of 2021 to own in Florida. Um, and they went in there and killed 36 of his animals um, plus a, uh, a, a boa, or not a boa, I'm not sure of what type of snake it was. Um, but they killed this snake. The snake was legal for this guy to have. He had permits for this snake, and this snake was also pregnant. Um, and if you watch the video, which I shared um, a link to 
the U.S. Art Florida YouTube channel where this video is posted, as well as several other breeders on this on YouTube have posted this video. It's posted on U on Facebook. I'm sure it's posted on other social media websites. Um, the news has put out about this this incident. Um, so anyway. Um, he killed, the, they went in, they slaughtered 36 of, the, 36 of these animals that were illegal as of uh, 2021, um, and they also killed one that was legal for him to have, that was pregnant. Um, it's estimated that the babies that this uh, animal had were worth $100,000. Um, so that's... So the video is, that's what the video is. It should, the, the video shows them going into this guy's facility and killing these animals. Um, and recently we found out, if you're following, I don't know if there's a lot, who's, if you're following, but if you're not, we've recently found out that, um, sorry guys, I'm losing my train of thought here. Uh, we recently found out that the euthanization process in Florida for these animals um, was not followed. Um, it was a two-step process. Only one step was done and that one step was not done correctly because they used a a, a bolt gun um, which is which uh, we all come to find out is not the actual way that they do step one. Um, that was only for emergency purposes only. Um, but anyway it was a two-step process guys. Um, it was, the, as you can see in the video, um, there wasn't two steps to the process that they did um, to euthanize these animals. All of these animals suffered, all of these animals were handled incorrectly, and the one was misidentified. Um, so that's the big issue, guys. Um, we've also found out um, within the last few days since we put videos out on it that, um, that these officers pretty much... Uh, forced their way in through uh, by coercion. Um, it was found out from this guy Chris that uh, after FWC had put out statements saying that they were given permission to enter this facility, um, it was later found out by Chris, the owner of these animals, um, that he was forced to let these officers enter. Um, he was uh, given an ultimatum to sign a document or go to jail. Um, so he didn't want to do any more jail time um, because he's already got charges pending from this. Um, so he signed the document and they came in. Um, and if you do know anything about law or if you follow law, you know that that's coercion. Um, that's illegal in any, pretty much any state that you go to. Um, authorities of the law cannot just uh, force you to sign a document to come into your home or your place of business, your facility, or go to jail. Um, that's coercion, guys. So they're investigating that. Um, they're investigating um, how the euthanization was done in this. Um, the biggest thing that's getting a lot of reptile keepers um, in the community um, is the way this these officers went about this and um, the way this was done um, because it wasn't proper. Um, there's also a GoFundMe page that um, US Art Florida um, has started. Um, that's all on their website. You can go uh, donate to, to um, this guy Chris um, to help him out with um, all the legal fees that he's going to be facing to fight this. Um, so you can go there and help, help him out if you choose to. Um, as I said before, another big way you can go and help them, help him out and help U.S. Art is to donate to the U.S. Art or join them. Um, if you join the, the Florida U.S. Art, you can join for free without donation, guys. Even if you don't donate, um, the more people we have on this list that support this fight, the better it is for U.S. Art and this guy, Chris. Um, if you watch the video, I strongly urge uh, parental discretion um, because the video is very, very violent. I did not post it on my channel. Um, there are others who on YouTube who have posted it. It's plastered on Facebook. It's plastered all over social media, guys. Um, it was just recently put into the news. Um, so if you can find um, find it there, great. Um, but I strongly urge everyone to go and 
support U.S. Ark Florida, support U.S. Ark in general. They fight for our rights as reptile keepers, guys. They fight for what we love. So you guys need to support them, please. Um, so again, do that. Um, and again, we did take down all of our live feeding videos. We apologize if this makes anyone mad or upsets anyone. Um, it's just not appropriate at this time for us to post those videos, guys. We will continue to do the feeding update videos. Um, we will continue to keep you guys updated. If there's any content that you want to see us put out, or if there's something you want us to share, um, leave it in the comment box. Shoot us an email. Um, I, I said the email earlier a few times for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the video for tonight, guys. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for watching. Again, please like and subscribe. Uh, pound that notification bell so you don't miss another one of our videos. Until next time, peace.